<sighs> Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? <sighs> so, the internet problem's not fixed. It's still, it's gonna happen. So, I, I'm gonna apologize in advance. Uh, yes, at some point tonight, in the middle of one of my sentences, in like two hours, the stream's just gonna go... <clears throat> and there's nothing I can do about it. I had a Comcast guy come out here, and he kind of just said, Yeah, can't really do anything about this. It's not your modem. It's not your connection. It's some server s switching routing problem. And apparently they're, uh, they're gonna look into it. So, right now, I have been escalated to Tier 2 customer support. I was Tier 1. Tier 2. We upgraded. We leveled up to Tier 2. But unfortunately, for the meantime, the stream's gonna get zapped in probably two hours. So, expect somewhere around 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern that this is just gonna turn off. But hi, 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 hello, hello, hello. Hopefully we can play a game for more than like an hour. You're currently in the middle of the hurricane? Holy shit. That's not good. That's the big one, right? It's Matthew, isn't it? Like Hurricane Matthew or, or, or Matt? I don't know, whatever one it is. Do you hear crickets? Yeah, because sorcery is currently open. Did they tell you your node might be oversold? I... He didn't say that. All I know is this is a new problem for the last month. Two to four weeks. Because remember like a month ago when I streamed randomly? Remember I, I streamed for like two hours. We talked about the rumble. Remember that stream died. That was a month ago. I've, I distinctly remember like seeing red and having the um, frames drop all over the place. It's been going on for a while now. I just didn't really pay that much attention to it till recently. But who cares? So for game-wise, we're going to continue sorcery for the time being. Next week or tomorrow, I might put up a poll to see if people are still interested in sorcery. We shall find out. Got some of my volumes too low. Hold on. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Should be. That should be at least 10% better. Maybe even 5% better. But regardless, we're going to play Sorcery. And then tomorrow or the next day, or not the next day, but uh, on Tuesday, we'll do another, you know, do you want to see Sorcery still? People are still liking it. Then okay. But we're going to go. Uh, my... Sorry, my notifications. Notifications are for new subs are going to stay muted. They'll still show up on the screen. But because it takes a lot of uh, talking. Well, now I'm too loud. <laughs> it's too loud now. Shit. I can't get it right. I'll never get it right. Let me, let me see how, let me listen to it. You're going to hear me twice. Let's see what I sound like. Well, now I'm too loud. <laughs> it's too loud now. I'm not Shit. too loud. I can't get it right. I'll never get it right. He'll never get it right. That sounds okay. That sounds okay. Anyways. Let's play where we left off. We're gonna lose connection again. For those of you that are just joining again right now. It's gonna drop. I didn't fix the problem. Problem is still gonna happen. 
Sorry. In advance. <laughs> Sorry. So if you remember the last thing we did, I don't even, what the hell is the last thing we did here? Anybody remember? Because I don't. Let me fix the screen. It's a little, a little screwed up. There we go. Oh, maybe a little bit more. How's that look? That's all right. Maybe, maybe like 10% bigger. Okay. 13 stamina, 10 gold, 0 rations. Something apparently... Who knows? All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to continue our trek through the backlands. The Zaplands, for what I like to call it. But thank you to all these subscriptions that are coming in. Uh, I didn't get a chance to say it because we lost connection uh, two days ago. But... Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel with your Prime sub. I didn't. I, we, we got cut off, and I got really irritated at the internet, so I couldn't really um, say anything. But uh, we're gonna. I have to keep the mute notifications turned off audio-wise because you know Wait, I'm just reiterating what? it again. Except for the resubs, because resubs don't come in nearly as quick as these Prime subs are coming in, which is awesome. Thank you guys. But thank you to all of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The thank you stream. We have to start every stream with a thank you stream. You know. But let's go. We are on our way through the backlines. What? What? Thank you for continuing to supply me with the shittiest emotes on Twitch. Well, there's going to be even more shitty emotes. I hope you're ready. I, I have a plan for like at least another two or three terrible shit emotes. There's a plan in place. And you're going to put these in different chats and people are not going to like you. They're going to be like, well, get that, get that shit out of here. People are going to be pissed off that you have these. <laughs> no. No, they won't. Paul Bear, Yeah, Paul Bear is currently... I have Paul Bear currently with a muzzle on. He's sitting there like, oh, yes, I did you. Why can't I talk to you? So what's what's the last thing that happened? It's nighttime apparently. Zap my ass. <laughs> well, I I don't I don't think I could reach you from here. The zap only goes like thirty feet. Let's go. Seven o'clock has rolled around. People have trickled in. And here we go. Thank you for the five hundred bits though. Much appreciated, dude. <clears throat> Let me get my talking voice ready. All right, we crossed the bridge. It's the last thing we did. Uh, another night begins. You should try to find a place to sleep, especially after walking all day without eating. Wait, what? You cross the bridge, wary at each step that the ancient stones will collapse underneath you, but they hold firm. All the way across and you reach the far side. The grassy plains stretch away once more. Behind you, the river roars and screams. It screams at you. The mighty bridge leads back across the river from here. So, uh, going to rest here. I'm gonna right at the end of the bridge. Gonna Wait, have a little nap. What? Jerma is so kinky. <laughs> what? Uh, thanks a lot, guys. A little too beep and black spruce for your eight month resubs, guys. That's a long time. A couple of one one year is coming up. We got some one year anniversaries coming up, which I can't fucking believe that. That I have been off and on terrible shit streaming for a year, and those guys have continued to support me. For some fucking reason. A year of subscriptions and like three months of streaming. Wait, what? But let's keep going. Close my eyes. You close your eyes and let your tiredness overtake you. Sleep well, Lorag murmurs in your mind. Perhaps I will wake you if anything approaches. Perhaps. Really? He, he, he's like watching? He's looking. He's like a good guy. He's watching over my body. Your dreams quickly become nightmares. There is a rope around your neck growing tighter. The King of Anerland stands before you, cursing you for your failure. You were sent for the crown, Wait, he curses. What? But instead you wandered the wilderness like a fool. I'm going to explain myself. You open your mouth to explain, but you cannot speak. You cannot even find words to breathe. Rip the, get the rope off my neck. Get it off my neck. You reach up to your throat and claw away at the rope to find it has swelled to be as thick as your arm. As though submerged underwater, 
Then one end of the rope splits and bites at your hand. It is no rope but a snake. Your eyes flick open. A despair snake is wrapped around your throat, breathing its miserable breath into your eyes. First spell of the night. First spell of the night, boys. It's gonna be zap. No, it's not. I don't have. I don't have zap. Hmm. Kin. Summon a replica creature. I don't have the necklace for it. Because <laughs> explosions. I could just like explode. He's wrapped around my neck. Oh, shit, a snake's wrapped around my neck. Better explode it and blow my head clean off my shoulders. <laughs> Explosions. That would be the most knee-jerk shit reaction. What about does? Cause slowness? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> if I... No, I'm not gonna blow it up. If I blow it up, I blow up, my whole brain blows up. Turn to stone? No. I'm gonna doze it. I'm gonna doze. Wait, 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 tell. Read his mind. <laughs> I wonder what that snake is thinking while it's wrapping around my neck, choking me to death. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder. I'm gonna go. I'm doing doze. We're gonna, we're gonna make it sleepy and slow. Cause slowness. One stamina. You craft the spell when the moment the spell takes effect, the serpent begins to slow down to a fraction of its previous speed. You draw your sword, the snape leaps back from you, baring its fangs. Pfft, look at that stamina. Now that was that was the correct play. Only cost one stamina, and I can go full blast at like 5.0 and kill him? Can do it again, even if he blocked. Let's do it again. He, he, he cannot stop me. Yeah. You're a little too slow, buddy. Do it again. Doesn't even, doesn't even fucking matter. I don't even need to read. He's dead. Easy. The despair snake is now afraid, swinging up from a low crouch. You can't really hope to sever its head. With a final heartfelt sigh, the despair snake falls to the ground and promptly expires, as though simply giving in. You suddenly feel much, much better. No stamina lost. Flawless fighting. Stardew Valley next stream. Wink, wink. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, next on fr tomorrow, which is Friday. We're gonna do a poll. We're gonna see if uh, if people want me to continue playing sorcery. That's gonna be on there. Uh, Stardew Valley will be on there, Fallout 4 will be on there, and probably, uh, Alakine's Gun will be on there as well. So, there will be choices tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, I, I was planning on getting through all of Sorcery by, like, this week, but my internet's a piece of shit! And it's not gonna get fixed anytime soon! So, the streams, like, the hour to two hour streams I've been able to do for the last couple of days, or last couple of streams, it's kind of fucking me up. I had a plan. But yeah, killed that snake. As you gasp with relief, you clean your blade on the skin of the split snake. Wait, Something what? falls out of its belly, it's a key. It's weird. Thank you for the resubs, and thank you to the new subscribers pouring in. I love you. Alec Keen's gun, uh, I I'm gonna write it in chat. It might be like Alec Hein. Alec Keen's gun is the Next game in the series of Death to Spies. If you remember Death to Spies, the grenade room. That's the, that's like the next game in the series, technically. Well, like the third game in the series. They made another game. So I have to play it, right? But thank you very much. Let's keep going. Let's look at the key. You look over the key, aside from the snake blood running between the teeth, it is a normal enough iron key. The snake must have swallowed it at some point and been stuck with it ever since. You pick it up, wipe it clean, and put it in your pack. It's unlikely you ever find the lock it opens, but if you do, it'll be a most pleasant surprise. The cold night closes in over you, and you try to sleep. Okay, cool. Day four. You reach the northern plains and found no new clues. You pick yourself up to your future, and the sound of the river is still with you. It has not disappeared in the night. It's playing a super magical tune. You must explore these fields further. Go, 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 go. You walk for a half an hour across the endless dusty plains, and the grass turns to dust as you go. The early morning sun makes the air glow. The road is barely visible through the dust. A few scattered bones line the path. Let's take a look at those bones. 
you pick over a few of the bones, thin femurs, long arms, elven most likely, or black elf. The wind has scoured them dry. You continue your journey. North, east, back to the fish. All right, we go north, east, or over to, like, the fish. Da -da -ding, da -da -ding, ding, ding, ding. If Easy Pete owned a restaurant, would it be pizza? Yeah, t I, I, yeah I'd say so. Uh, we're going to go... Hmm. We can go to this desolate fucking wasteland, or this desolate fucking wasteland. Which one do you want to do? Go back to the fish now. Straw pole, first straw pole of the night. North, east, or fish? No, this is gonna. I'm not going back to fish. But we'll, 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 no, I'm, I'm gonna pick this one. I'm going. I'm gonna go with east. No poll for this one. That was like a. That was a dumb decision. We want like a good poll for our first poll. The road curves gently as you follow it. The air stirs a little, still cold but fresh. The plains are wide and empty to the south. The fissure yawns, wider here and furiously deep. To the north, the lands climb a low, rocky rise. Off the road or northeast? Well, this is, you know, we got to take a look at this. Got to take a look at that, you know, why not? You leave the road and cut across the desolate plain. The day is likely to be clear and will be hot once more. You are climbing up a low, rocky rise, not a natural outcrop as you first assumed, but rather a pile of large carved blocks over which the dust of many ages has blown. That's a spell. Okay. Fireball. Dop. That's not east. That's not east. That's not east. Oh. Uh, we can do how. Great wind. I could just blow the gale horn. I'm just gonna blow. I'm just gonna cause a fucking windstorm. I don't even know why. Reaching up to the stars, you create the magic, lifting the gale horn and blowing a loud note. The resulting wind knocks you to your feet, but that's fortunate as a moment later, boulders from the rubble pile are flying through the air past your head. <laughs> look up. Hey, what's that? Gingerly, you lift your head off the ground to look around. A flying brick knocks you in the temple and makes your head spin. <laughs> Once the wind dies down, you get up. The rubble has been scattered, revealing the blue crystal. Blue crystal. A small lizard scurries out from between the two fallen blocks. I did it. I did it. I got the crystal. <laughs> ah, the French champagne. Yeah. You touch the blue crystal and suddenly you feel yourself ascending. What? What the fuck is going on? I get... I can teleport? I did not know this is- I don't think I did this at all. Yeah, I had no idea you could do this. A moment later, you are tumbling downwards from the sky, the wind rushing past your face. You are certain to shatter into a thousand pieces. And then suddenly, you're on the ground once more. You're back on top of the southwestern stone tower. The beacon is lit. It's polished crystal eye blazing. I can teleport now. Wait, what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna adjust the beam. Back to there. Yeah, the brick, the brick hit me in the head, and now I think I can, like, teleport. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> touch the blue crystal. It's, yeah, touching the blue, blue crystal. Ah, dude, I, you guys didn't think I should have blown that horn, and I did. Let's put the beam over here. And teleport back to this. Look at that. Look at that. It's one of these beacons. Please play lots more sorcery. I haven't laughed this much in a long time. Well, thank you, Rock, uh, Rock, Rock, Rocco Potan... Rockopotamus, thank you for 700 bits, dude. Oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm still playing it. Let's get a good arc here, and then I'm going to teleport back and go to this weird house. You shift the beam around its track, and then take, uh, take a step back. Let's touch the blue crystal. Oh, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. Thank God I have this. Thank God I blew that stupid fucking gale horn. What if I didn't have the horn? You know what I mean? Ooh, teleportation device worked. You fall from the sky is just terrifying as if you're going to burp wicked loud. I gotta hold on a second. But you land safely once again. It takes a moment for you to regain your breath. 
Incredible. Oh, geez. Oh, that like hurt. <laughs> You're atop the stone tower which did not exist before in the northern plains of Badabak. Set into the floor here is a bearing track on which a brass cylinder rests. Look at this. Look at that. Here we are. Look at the contraption. It's the same one. By sound we want it so loud. Burp for the audience. No, that's I don't want to do that. That's like that's rude and gross. It's a trap door. All right. Well, not now that we've gone for a few minutes, I do want to say I have to say this. Uh, the stream is going to die. At some point, I don't know when, but hopefully we can play for like an hour or two. I've, I just saw that like the viewer count updated. I'm so sorry if it happens. Thank you for coming regardless. But if the stream gets, I might, I might disconnect here in the next like hour or two. I don't know when. I'm so sorry. I just had to say that again to reiterate it one more time while there's most of the people are going to be here that are here. So sorry in advance. I'm sorry. It's probably going to fucking happen. Wait, what? <laughs> the stream goes down. <laughs> that would be so fucking... That would be fucking hilarious. But I hope it doesn't happen. Because I'm having fun and I want to keep having fun with my fucking internet friends. Don't you understand, Comcast? Thank you, Ronnie Jizzo, for the eight months. <laughs> Thank you to the new subscriptions that are coming in. All right. All right. The contraption is the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On one side of the turret floor is a trap door, which is closed. Rip that fucking thing open. It has a long... Has an iron ring for a handle. You give it a sharp tug, but it, it's, it doesn't move an inch. Twist it. Pull it. Bop it. Give up. Twist it. You turn the iron ring, it doesn't shift. Pull it. Wow. Oh, hold on, I can do that better. Wow. There you go. Pull it again. You dipped a sharp tug, but you seem to be wasting your time. Pull it again. With renewed effort, give it a sharp tug. However, you hard, you wriggly wrench, tread nothing, and pull it again. You try a sharp tug, you are beginning to develop a crick in your shoulder from all the tugging. Do it again. Once more, you attempt a sharp tug, and you start to wish that you were not traveling alone, so at least there'd be someone to laugh at your feeble attempts. Pull it again. You give it a sharp tug for a moment. It seems as though the trap door is loosening, but then you realize it's your own sweaty fingers slipping from it. Pull it again. With a burst of energy, you try a sharp tug as you struggle what? and strain to the door. You begin to remember your childhood in Chawberry Wood. You were always the smallest, the weakest, the most feeble of your family. No wonder you were chosen for this fool's mission. Pull it again. You attempt a sharp tug. You are gripped by the sudden fear that perhaps the Archmage is watching your performance right now from somewhere in Manpack. Pull it again. Once again, you give it a sharp tug with a key. The trapdoor shatters and opens. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Let's make a move. Let's go down and see what's down here. Lower level. The inside of the tower is cavernous and empty, but for a stone staircase that spirals around the walls, the hatch at the top of the stairs is open. <laughs> Pull it again. Search the room. Instead of going through the hatch, you use the light to poke around the corners of the room. You find little of interest until you stumble over what appears to be an old traveling pack. Wait, what? Woo, what a gamer. <laughs> uh, should I open it or kick it? There might be like a squirrel in there. Should I kick it? You never know. There could, there could be like a rabid squirrel in there. And he might like, like rip out and like bite me in my tongue. Kick it. Pro sorcery gameplay. <laughs> kick it. You give an experimental kick, it does not move, but only rattles a little. Ah, there's a rattlesnake in there. Open it. You open the pack and are surprised to find the brand find the brand of the Aniland leathers inside the top flap. Digging inside, you find three stoppered vials. Okay. Cast sap on you. <laughs> Bop it. Kick it. Pull it. <laughs> Let's look at the purple one. Twitch TV, you know, twitch.tv. Look at the purple liquid. You lift the purple vial and shake Wait, it in the lift. What? The liquid inside is thin but shines slightly. You recognize it, of course. It's blimbleberry.tv. You put it back in your pack. An excellent find. All right, let's do the yellow one. It's piss. The yellow liquid is thin and sour looking. The vial has a mark on it depicting a serpent. Uh, keep it. You put the yellow vial into your pack. It is poisoned. 
and so long as you are careful, may come in useful, may come in useful at some point. Brown vial. The brown vial contains a thick oil that you do not eat it. You unstop the vial and boldly take a sip, then you spit it out quickly. This is an essence of bark, powerfully strong and foul to the taste. Okay. Taste them all. <laughs> you put the essence of bark into your pack alongside the purple vial.tv. Then you close the pack, satisfied with what you have found. Although the foul bark taste has not yet faded from your mouth. Oh boy. That's 50,000 bits. Thank you, Red Ranger. <laughs> Thank you for the $500,000. That's, um, thanks. That's a lot of money. You guys, you guys are like money bags. M money bags McGee's. Holy shit. Thanks, dude. It's time to move on. You could go back out to the plane, or you could say, What's up to Red Ranger? Thank you for the 50 bucks. Like I just did. Uh, you tell me I could just leave out the front door? No, I want to I want to move this. No, I don't want to move it, do I? Pull it again. So this is the second beam, because I already have a beam pointing this way. God, stop burping. God! Can I get, like, one minute where I don't fucking burp? Yeah, because I already have one pointing this way. So I guess I can... Point this one, like, over here? Where does that one end? That way? So I guess I could go like this? Uh, I could do that. Because the bridge is... Yeah, I'll, I'll just make, I'll get the bridge there. We'll put it there. What did I eat? Uh, chicken, broccoli, and ziti. With a shitload of garlic. That's probably why. I'm like, I'm like a garlic... Garlic shithead right now. Garlic... Eat more garlic, by the way, guys. It's good for you. Time to move. Let's go out the front door instead of, like, breaking my arm. You step out into the sunlight. Yeah, I could have just walked in here. I just walked up the stairs. I didn't even need to pull that thing that many times. Turn your sub noise back on. Um, well, for those that don't know, the reason why it's off is because this involves a lot of talking. And the sheer amount of Twitch uh, Prime subs that... Jesus! Jesus! Oh my god. And then another hundred dollars. And you wonder why Tinder ain't working. <laughs> Jesus, Waffen. Waffen, you're going to like... You're gonna get like the fucking million dollar badge. Thanks, dude. That's money. That is money. That's a hundred monies. And this is like what I'm... This is... Uh, let me go on a rant for a second here. Like, the reason why I'm so upset about not being able to stream from this, like, internet problem is, like, people are paying me, like, money and shit, and I, like, I, I always, like, feel so terrible if, you know, people are dropping fucking, that's real money. Like, 50 bucks, like, 10 bucks, 2 bucks, like, even the guy that just gave a dollar, this guy Jora, right? Just gave, just gave a hundred fucking thousand bits, a hundred dollars, uh, one dollar. Like, I, I want to be able to fucking make that worth it, you know? It's, like, it just sucks that it, this is happening. I want you to feel like it was worth it. And it's, it, I feel so terrible every time that I have an opportunity to stream. And I can't. So I'm so sorry that people are fucking paying that kind of money. And the stream, my internet just doesn't want to work. It's not real money, it's just bits. <laughs> but thank you so much nonetheless. Like, it's extremely... Oh my fucking god. Uh, all right. All right. If I'm like the bartender, I'm the bartender. Okay. Oh, there's another 1500 bits and another hundred dollars. All right. The bot like you you just ordered like 700 drinks Right now. I'm just gonna be like all right. You, yeah, that's, you don't need any more drinks Damn What What do you do for work Waffen? Waffen, are you like a stockbroker? <laughs> are you a a uh do you, like, sell fucking Audis or, like, Lexuses for, for money? Jeez, man. I, could, I, I never can comprehend stuff like this. You guys are fucking too much. Thank you. It's like... It's, let's, go into the, let's go into the grass. 
And don't feel like, I know there's a couple of people dropping mad money, dropping like real fucking cash. It's like, even if you, uh, even the people that gave one dollar, people don't even, the people that aren't even subbed to this channel, don't fucking worry about it. Don't feel like you have to, oh, I gotta get my credit card, I gotta give like 20 bucks. No, just fucking, you, you can watch. You can just hail, you can chill, you can just watch the stream, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we haven't been able to give you money in the past, believe me. In the past, so believe me if you've earned it and much more, my god. No, no, no. Dude. Oh, I fucking god. <laughs> no. <laughs> How quickly can I get 300 bucks to Germany? That is unbelievable, man. I have nothing to say. This is the bit. Welcome to the bit stream. Thank you, Waffen, so much, man. Like, yeah, I. That's all I can say. Yeah, he's up to, he's, uh, what's Waffen's total at the moment? Like, somewhere around, like, $800 or something like that. Something like that. It's crazy. I have no more money. So don't worry about it. Please do not drain your bank account to give to me. You don't have to do that. I can't, I don't have any more money to give you shit. You don't have, don't have, you don't have to do it. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Just go save your money and go buy a fucking, go buy, like, a snack. Go, go like, take your, like, go take your, like, mother out to dinner. Don't worry about me. You guys are too kind. Is your mortgage paid off yet? <laughs> For the month, yeah. At this point. Here, have a drink. You know what? I'll drink to that. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. All the subs that have poured in over the last couple days. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to me. I'll drink to that. To all the viewers, to all the fucking subs, to all the people that are donating the money, you don't have to do it, but like, Jesus, man. You guys are fuck. you guys all rock. And again, don't worry, if you're just watching the stream, you are, you, you, you don't fucking ever feel like you're obligated to give any money to me, ever. Please never feel that way. You could fucking watch this stream for a full year, like 10 years, without subbing and just watching. And I fucking, it, I'm glad you're here. Don't worry about it. You guys all fucking rock. And thank you again to the people that have been throwing this cash. You want to play a game of Swindle Stones? Alright. I'm about to burp again. <sighs> Your router is full of fucking bits, I know, at this point. That's probably what's doing it. Too many bits. I can't, like, process the bits quick enough. Exxon Mobil shares won't sell till Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's let's keep on. Let's keep it rolling. Heart. I'm seeing so, hey, this is Oh boy. That garlic. Too much garlic. I won't get to eat tonight. Germany needs more than me. Everyone get out your wallets. No. You don't have to do that. But thank you. You make your slow way across- yeah, you make your slow- I, Okay, I just walked across the field. It took me like an hour to walk like across the field. This heart is for flanker, not for you. <laughs> I can buy all the fancy drugs now. <laughs> oh, jeez. And a bunch of subs too. God! Uh. Oh my boy. Oh my boy. You guys fucking roll. A clatter of wheels makes you turn your head. A cart is approaching, driven by a broad figure in a long cloak. So there's a guy in a cart. Step aside, greet the figure, duck out of sight. Let's greet him. Let's greet the guy face cam. No, no face cam. I want you to be able to read. You don't want to look at my fucking face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up. You step into the cart's path and raise a hand. The figure raises a fist in return. Stranger, calls the figure. Do you want blood? This guy's selling blood. Um, what manner of blood? You know how many months of Tinder plus all these bits will get you? <laughs> Time to get our quotas in before your router crashes at nine. Yeah, it's fucking gonna happen. <laughs> oh my lord. What manner of blood do you speak of? 
The cart driver becomes a booms a cheerful laugh. All kinds. She throws her hood and waves towards the back of the cart. I am the butcher of Badubak, steak of Oliphant, blue hide of Snatacat, ribs of goats. Your stomach rumbles at the thought. What do you fancy? She, she sells food. I get it. She's a food cart. It's a food truck. The driver gestures with a brandished cleaver to the back of her cart from which a thin river of blood trickles. All right, so she's still... What if there's, like, people back there? I could get some good snatta cat what? meat. It is possible to get some good snatta cat meat. Is it all raw? Attempt to rob her, buy something, wave her on. She looks a little... Doesn't she look menacing to you guys? She looks a little too menacing. Cause depression. <laughs> Hmm. What do you what what does she recommend? She considers that for a moment. There you go. The snatter cat meat is the rarest, of course, she says. And if you've never tried invisible steak, then you should just for the experience. It disappears from sight the more you eat it. But blah, Oliphant tastes the best. Did, am I am I just getting tried to sell disappearing meat? What an idiot. Everyone looks menacing in this game. No, some of them look all right. It's all raw. <laughs> Keep the train going. Uh, is it all raw? Do you have anything cooked? Most has barely stopped moving, the butcher replies cheerfully. Freshest meat in all of Vadubak. Hmm. I think I'll buy something. I don't want to rob her. She's got a cleaver in her hand. I'll buy something from you. She beams with pleasure. What'll it be? The Oliphant steak is seven gold pieces, blue hide is ten, the steaks are bloody and raw, and will be no good without cooking. That's a little too much. That's too much money. The butcher nods sadly. Then I wish you well, traveler, but I am no charity. Cast a spell. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what else. Hold on, Waffen just gave another hundred dollars. But let's just let's just briefly address that. Thank you, Waffen. Every time you give Germa bits, he eats ten dollars. <laughs> well, oh, okay. What are the other options? Control non-intelligent creatures. We could just blow her up with a zap, but I mean, we've done that so many times. We've done that so many times. Talk with animals. Cause invisibility. Uh, wait a minute. Jig, cause lively dancing. Oh boy, here comes more... More money. I want to just make her start dancing. All right, okay, hold on a minute. I'm gonna put a, gonna put a poll up. It's either zap or a jig. Zap, jig, or what's what's another good one? Thank you, a fine specimen for the ten bucks. It's the one thousand bits. That first poll of the evening. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna put it up. It's gonna be it's gonna be zap or jig. Commence the juggling. Cause that's really the only two options I have, because I don't have the item for the other stuff. Let's see, what's what's Jog? Illusion of Worship. Alright, let's go. Straw pull. I'll give you I'm gonna give you three options here. Which? Which one? There's never too much zap. Is a hundred dollars gonna be in the next rumble? <laughs> All right, which zap or why is this so small? Zap or jig? Oh, the third option is sword. Just fucking t t pull my sword out because that was an option before. Zap. Wait, why does that look so weird? All right, there we go. Here are your three options to deal with the crazy meat cleaver lady. Which one? 
minute or two, because I, I feel I feel like I don't even need to do this poll, because I think you're all going to do what I think you're going to do. You know? Oh, no. Wow. I'm gay. I'm really... I... Well, no, hold on. I can't speak so quickly. Oh, Jig is... Jig seems to be winning. Wow, this is... I'm surprised. I really thought you guys wanted to see another zap. <laughs> Wait, what? If I had 31 bucks for every month I'm subbed, I'd be too lazy to do the math. Well, thank you regardless for staying subbed. And thank you to all the bits that just came in. And the all subs, the new subs that came in. Looks like we're doing a dance. Ten more seconds. I'll link it one more time for the people that are trying to click it while it goes by real fast. Ten more seconds and we're doing jig and we're going to start dancing. Jig, then zap. Make her dance and then just like cascade a bolt into her forehead. If I donate 30,000 bits, will you put on a wizard outfit and zap chat? <laughs> no. I don't want to give any incentives for people that have to give money. I'll do that for fucking free. <laughs> I would just do that for fun. You don't have to pay me $300. Alright. The poll is now closed. The winner is Jig. Jig has won. It's time to start dancing. Does this work on me, too, or is it just her? I don't know. We're about to find out, though. J. I. G. Cause lively dancing. Boink. You weave the constellations into a pattern around you, pulling out your bamboo flute and starting to play. The butcher's expression turns from surprise to horror as she finds herself dancing involuntarily. Arms waving this way and that. I'm a respectable butcher, she croaks before whooping twice and spinning on the spot. Stop this! Dance, dance her into exhaustion. You keep her, you keep her dancing until she begins to wobble the knees and stumble. She falls face down, but you keep her arms thrashing and her feet pounding until she is fast asleep. Still slowly dancing in the grass. You lower the pipe from your lips. Silence descends over the plane. Take some meat from the cart. You take three joints of raw meat from the back of the cart. It's all you can handle before your stomach begins to turn. <laughs> oh, thank you for the thank you for the bits. Thank you for the hundred bits, five hundred bits. It's not much, but here's a little something from Griffin Steed's vault. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I don't even go on Twitch, but I spent twenty dollars on a joke. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Is she gonna keep dancing? I love how she was, like, unconscious dancing. <laughs> Zap the ground. If you don't eat a pot of sour cream, I will give you 30,000 bits. Well, Mitzi, I don't, uh... <laughs> Mitzi, I don't have a plan to eat an entire pot of sour cream. But if it's gonna save you from having to give me 300 bucks, I probably will. <laughs> At some point. Alright, uh, raw meat must be cooked. Got to get to a campfire somewhere. Hold on, let me uh, let me just burp wicked loud off camera again. Raw meat, all right, cool. We got three of them. That's actually good because I've I've had no food this entire time, which sucks. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, he's crazy. He's crazy. He's out of control. He's giving me 300 bucks. <laughs> no. All right, nobody make any more money jokes. Nobody make any more money jokes. No more, no more jokes about how much money. No more jokes about that because I don't, want, I don't want anyone else to give me fucking $300. I don't want it. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't like you. Know, <laughs> I have no fuck. I have nothing to say. What the fuck is happening? No more what? money jokes. What? Don't start. Don't make any more videos. Nobody supports videos, only streams. Wait, what? I. This is fucking insanity, man. 
I never thought I'd ever see a day where I'd be like hanging out and like some dude gives me like a fucking grand. I can't believe it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, we're going to go northeast. Let's go northeast. We're going to go northeast. Let's forget about all this shit and let's keep fucking playing the game. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Another fucking hundred dollars. I can't. There's no fucking stopping this. I feel like I went to the casino and put like t like ten bucks in a machine and pulled it and got a thousand. Jeez, man, Ruby, Ruby R with the fucking hundred. It's not three hundred, but this is not a competition. There's no competition. Don't compete with each other. There's no competition here. We're all friends. We're all buddies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and then a six hundred and a five hundred from Mitzi and Saladong's my fucking word. Double zeros. And then PKA with the 15 bucks. This is all I got left to spend. Don't worry about it. Please don't worry about it. Do not worry about this. 15 bucks and don't be concerned. This is all I got left. Don't fucking... Do it. That's more than enough. Slowly the sun begins to make its way back down to the sky. You buy a Google Fiber line. I don't really... Thanks, dude. You walk through the wide fields thick with crops. A few goats graze on the low hillocks in the land. Watching you with beady eyes, this place seems to be rich. Far richer than the villagers west of Kare. It seems impossible that it could ever become a place as desolate as the backlands. Let's look around. Looking south, you see the tower. Further on in that direction, the river rushes through the plains. Pog champ. Got a pog champ. Stir told me to. Oh, God. You... <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dad. Okay. You stride on through the long, swishes, scratch, and somewhere close at hand, you hear a voice. So, uh, there? Got any water, have you? Zap him. <laughs> Zap this guy. Stop dancing! <laughs> Pulling the pipe from your pack, you cast a spell. You soon begin to hear an exhausting puffing sound from somewhere in the grass. Follow the sound. The sound turns into a series of wet clicks, which you follow until you all but stumble over a head planted in the soil like a cabbage. It is maniacally rolling from side to side and flaring its nostrils as it tries to dance. <laughs> keep playing. You keep playing until the spell finally feigns. The head in the ground is now quite exhausted and looks almost ready to fall asleep. <laughs> this guy is... This is the guy just... <laughs> wait, let's wake him up. You squat down and greet the head. Its eyes open wide. Greetings, it declares cheerfully enough. Do you have any water? I'm dying of thirst after all that dancing. <laughs> all right, I'll get, I'll get you some water. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'll get him some water. Wait, let, me look, let me look at the head. You peer down at the head. It, it is a man's, if an animate, decapitated head can give- wait, hold on, I'm reading this wrong. You peer down at the head, it is a man's, if an animate, decapitated- okay, if an animate, decapitated head can have a gender. He has shaggy hair, brown eyes, and parched lips. He has not shaved for some time. No need to stare, or stare all you like, but give me some water! What are you doing down there? The head wiggles its eyebrows, perhaps the equivalent of a shrug. Stole one too many goats! Ishtar is a place, great place, but they don't take too well to goat stealing. It gets their goat, as they say. <laughs> gets their back right up. So he's buried in the sand? He's got cheer 100. Plead reason. Please read the Old Testament next. Let's <laughs> <This is> suck. <laughs> Why aren't you noticing me? I, hi, needs. Hi. It's hard. There's a lot of fucking bits rolling in. You're all loved. So he's a criminal. 
I was. But I'm reformed now. Not that it does me much good, of course. Uh, reformed? You've been punished, then? Well, I didn't bury myself down here, did I? <laughs> Listen, do you have any water, don't you? <laughs> what if I could just zap his head? Thanks, Tinkle Surprise. Thanks for the 15. <laughs> Thanks for being you, baby. <laughs> Thanks, dude. All right, uh, what about like mud? Quay quicksand? <laughs> I could just create quicksand around his head and like he'll fucking die. That's so awful. Jig, do jig again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I can't blow his head up. That's too horrible. He's buried, he can't even defend himself. You're taking everything from me. <laughs> Baked flakes, thanks, dude. I could, I could, I don't have a, a skull cap to raid his mind. Am I seriously going to put a grenade next to this guy's head when he's buried in the sand? That is horrendous. There is nothing more terrible than doing that. Pop, pop, I just keep seeing it. I'm gonna, all my, st I need the, what if I need this for something? I need these pebbles. I did it. Oh no. You cast the enchantment over one of your pebbles. Threaten him. This pebble is enchanted. You tell the head, if I drop it on you, it will explode. The head gulps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Have you heard of the seven serpents? <laughs> uh, the head frowns. Oh, I'm gonna like pass out. <laughs> I want to lie to you and say yes, but I won't. I've never heard of any serpents, and seven sounds like a lot. There's a shiver. There's a shiver in his voice as he speaks. <laughs> Uh, I want to know what you're doing here. I'm being punished for my crimes, obviously. I'm not on holiday, but I promised you I'm reformed. I'm quite harmless now. Look, I can't keep talking or I'll die of thirst. All right, enough questions. Enough questions. You've learned all you, you care to learn. This, this creature clearly knows nothing of the seven serpents. Offer to get some water, dig up the head, or leave. Well, why can't I just drop the bomb on him? <laughs> Why can't I just drop the bomb? I'm going to the bathroom, BRP. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, bits, guys. All right, I'll, I'll get him. Let's see. Stay here, you declare. I'll get you some water. Not like I'm going anywhere. Uh, where can I get him some water? Cast dig. <laughs> yeah, I'll cast dig on this guy. In the seventh grade, I stole your lunch money, so you can have it back. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, thank you, Berlick. <laughs> I don't know if uh, you must have gone to my middle school, but thanks a lot. All right, let's, um, this kind of looks like a well, right? <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go this way. This looks like it could be like a well, right? It's like a circular thing. You carry on tramping across the fertile grassland, enjoying the soft chirping of the insects. The wind picks up as the evening draws on. Soon, it will be dark. Nearby, you hear the sound of a hammers on stone. Let's follow the sound. You approach the sound. To find a group of workmen erecting a scaffold, they ignore your approach. As you approach the scaffold, you are stopped by a... L oh, I'm almost going to burp again. God. As you approach the scaffold, you are stopped by a large svin wearing a metal helmet. Stay back, the creature says. Big rocks high up. What are you building? This seventh beacons. This one prevents collapsing things in the cloud mountains. Also, make weather nice. 
He turns to glance over his shoulder and shout incomprehensible insults at a group of workers' spins who are clamoring about in the upper reaches of the frame. Um, I need to cross the mountains to the east. You tell him. The spin shrugs. Use the bridge. We built for this. The scaffold sits in a deep pit in the ground, which is being used to hold foundations. Okay. The Thirty Years' War was divided into four phases. The first was the Bohemian Revolt, which began with the division. What is this, like, paragraph? Thanks for the ten, thanks for the thousand bits, dude. <laughs> he's, he's going off on, like, a war. He's like, I think that, wait, that, that is the Bible, isn't it? Is that the Bible? I don't even know. How does a beacon prevent avalanches? The spin shrugs. Magic is magic. We know. This high, this wide, this strong. Strong enough to hold Oliphant. The rest is them problem. He jerks a thumb in a general eastwards direction. Whose problem? He jerks his clawed thumb eastwards again, but seems reluctant to say any more than that. There is a crash from the site, and the spin turns around and roars, stomping back towards the construction. Let's follow him back. You follow him curiously and see that one of the bamboo supports has bent and buckled under the weight of two Svins who are now clinging on like spider monkeys above their pit below. The Svin to whom you are talking is scratching his belly and trying to work out what to do. Let's help him. You step forward intending to assist, then realize you do not know what to do. The two creatures are some height up and swaying violently back and forth. Their leader is scratching his chin, clearly thinking hard. Wait to see what he does. Cast a spell, slice the bamboo in half. From there, Elisha went up to Bethel. It is the fucking Bible. Well, what can I do for spells? You open your eyes to begin a spell, but the Sven knocks your hands down on reflex. None of that, he scolds. We engineers. With that, he goes over to the edge of the pit and collects two unused bamboo rods and lays them down across the pit. He then gathers another two, and you quickly realize he's building a support framework to allow the stranded Svins to climb down. I, fucking, I should have zapped this guy when I had the chance. Look around the site. You take advantage of the distraction to walk around the site and poke into the minerals, materials they have in their stores. It is mostly as you might expect. Bamboo, hardwood for cutting joists, and various hammers, chisels, and lathes. If there is to be stonework, that must be arriving later. Behind all of this is a small metal box with a catch on the lid and a, gourd of, and a gourd of water. Okay. Oh, the water! Wait, water! It's a gourd of water! Take the... Take the Take the gourd. You take the gourd and test the water inside. It seems fresh enough. It is presumably belonging to one of the workmen. You put it in your pack, remembering the parched head on the field to the east. <laughs> we, we will rumble for bits. <laughs> but thank you for these that came in. We see how many. Thank you for the hundred. Thank you for the hundred, 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 hundred. You guys rock. Uh, I'm going to open the box. Let's see what's in it. You squat down and open the box to reveal a small blue crystal. It is currently dark, but looks very similar to the ones you have seen previously on the towers. Wait just a second. Hold on. They're building one of these. Yeah, they're building one of these. That has to be what it is, because look at it. It's in the, and it has a blue crystal in it. If I take the blue crystal from this in the past... Then in the future, this won't be here, right? <laughs> you guys just like quoting the Bible. All I see is like Bible text. No, this isn't the Bible. What? What the hell is this? I don't even know. I, I, is that, that, I don't think that's the Bible. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the crystal, because if I take the crystal, then but thanks for the hundred fucking bucks again. <laughs> oh, now, hey, by the way, guys, now we're a Bible stream. The Thirty Years' War was a series of Central Europe. Yeah, that's 1618. Is that the Bible? That was Mein Kampf. Oh, Jesus. Okay, then, no, then that was not the Bible. Look, all I see is a wall of text with, like, different fucking... Bibles and shit. Oh, and I saw another paragraph. Right, I'm leaving it. You flip the box closed once more. Whatever the jewel is is presumably important to the builders. The rest of the materials on the site are uninteresting except for a sharp-edged hewing axe. 
I'll take that too. You pick it up and quietly slip it in your pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. You move on. All right, I'm back. I'm back with your water. The sun is now in the lowest quarter of the sky. You walk back through the long, lush fields. Look for the head. Are you there? You call out. Down here. You find it in the grass. You found me. Did you bring any water? Please say you did. Give water to the head. <laughs> 100 bits for being the only stream I've ever seen that quoted the Bible and Mein Kampf within one minute. <laughs> well, I didn't knowingly quote. The, I, I thought it was like fucking... Part of the Bible paragraph stuff. But they, they, I guess that happens. Thank you, nonetheless, to you guys. Alright, you take out your, uh... Jesus. You open your pack and take out the water gourd. The head follows your every movement with insatiable curiosity. Then it throws back its upper jaw in excitement. You squat down and pour the water into its mouth. It coughs and splutters, drinking to clear its mouth, but not wanting to stop. Wonderful. You have no idea how wonderful. That'll keep me going. Oh, another day at least. Let's fucking dig him up. I'm gonna dig this guy up. Jesus. I'll get you out of there, you declare. The head jiggles. That would be a great idea. I'd be more than grateful. It's more grateful than you can imagine. All right, pick up the head, cast, dig him. Dig. I could dig him out. Hmm. What do I do here? I feel like if I did, there's probably like a trap in there. Wouldn't there be? Wouldn't you think there'd be like a trap in here? Let's see what I can do. Sixteen hundreds equals Bible. <laughs> well, it all started with. And Sark said uh, the Pope. No, so who said about the Bible? Like I'm gonna read the Bible. And I saw a big paragraph with a bunch of like words, and I thought that was like a, a Bible paragraph. Another Bible paragraph came through, and then fucking that Mein Kampf paragraph, which I ain't gonna read. Like I, I don't, I don't want to read that out loud. And then the next one was a Bible. And then it wasn't even the Bible. It could have might have been the Bible. I have no idea. <laughs> oh boy. He's wet now. <laughs> it's all Sark's fault. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's see. I don't, I'm not killing this guy. I'm not zapping this guy. I want to like, I'm gonna like, de oh, cool. I can go big, grow in size, and I'll just grab him out of the dirt. That's what I'm gonna do. Big. Looking to the constellations overhead, you craft a spell. For a moment, it seems nothing will happen. Then suddenly, you begin to grow three times your normal size. The head gasps in shock. <laughs> Uh, he could stamp on the head. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? This is too hard of a decision for me to do. Pull, dig, or stamp. I'm making a pull. You guys decide this guy's fate. This poor dude. Which pull dig or stamp there we go I feel like this one's gonna be real close I feel like it's gonna be real close let's see what you guys want to see Dig? Dig is currently... Wow, you guys want to save this guy, huh? You don't want me to stomp his head like a bug. We'll pull him out. 
Oh, get your votes in. This this one this one's getting no Dig is really running away with this. Pull the head free. If I grab this dude by the head, it's I'm gonna like rip his head off. Yeah, all right, this it doesn't seem like it's gonna get any uh, closer than this. I think you guys want me to like rescue this guy and not fucking squash his head like a bug. Bug squash. And that person is writing about a bee. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds. 10 seconds remaining before I disregard everything and stamp on his fucking head. All right. You guys have spoken. The chat has spoken. By a very large margin, we're going to dig his head up. Thank you. Voting is now closed. Let's dig. Oh, I almost accidentally clicked on stomp on his head. <laughs> dig up the head. <clears throat> With fingers the size of shovels, you tug away the clods and earth around the head to discover it is, in fact, a man buried up to his neck in the ground. As the spell fades, he clamors to his feet and dusts himself down. Blessed Throff! I could hardly believe it! Turning to you, he lowers his eyes in solemn acknowledgement. I am quite clear that I owe you my life. I will repay the debt any way that I can, though I have little to offer. Gradually, you shrink back down to your normal size. He pats down his pockets. I have nothing to offer you. Search him. Grabbing his arm, you quickly search him to establish the truth. Sure enough, in one pocket, you recover a fine pearl ring. He shrugs, giving a half smile, but lets you take it. Your search done, you step back, he nods. And so, we are quits. Be well. Then with a flamboyant wave, he takes off across the field at a run. After a few paces, he seems to trip on something, but he quickly gets up, apologizes to something you cannot see, and is gone into the mists of the backlands. Which way did he go? Okay, he's trying to get He searches down to be nauseous, but he takes off across the, across the field at a run. What did he trip over? Which way was he going? Good shit. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, wait, across the field? Which way was he going? Where the hell? Which way was this? No! No, the stream! Fuck! No! This, this is probably gonna be it. Oh boy, fuck Comcast. <laughs> this is why we don't save criminals. Well, if you can still hear me, good night. I don't think I'm gonna be able to come back. I've tried multiple times each time this happens. I'm so sorry this happens. I'm trying as hard as I can to fix it. I've been told it's gonna get fixed. If you can hear me, if you hope you can hear me, if you can, then I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it fixed. Have a good night, guys. Fuck. This is the worst. No. Uh, I'm just when I'm starting to have, like, fucking fun. Just when I'm getting into it. Ugh. God damn it. Good night, guys. Sorry again. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah.